So hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this 148 scale Nakajima KI-84 Hayate Frank and 148 scale from Tamaya. Uh, Tamaya makes good stuff so I figure this will probably be a good kit. Um, hope everybody will like and subscribe to my channel please. That would be really great. So let's, let's take a look at the instruction sheet. So here's the instruction sheet. There's a lot of uh, information here in English and specifications too. It's a really simple simple instruction sheet. It's like one page front and back. So we start here in building the cockpit. So we have the cockpit floor, seat, this rear panel, pilot. Here we have the engine. It's like pretty much a one, two piece engine with the thing in the middle in a pilot cap on the end and you put the you put the cockpit and the engine in put the fuses together horizontal stabilizers on this front cover on the cowling on and then the wings so number five we have some drop tanks to build you put the drop tanks on, you put the uh, main landing gear in, well the tail landing gear is already there, it looks like, oh here, we put the tail landing gear in up here. And then the, this intake, and the landing gear bay doors, uh, or you can do it closed like it shows here. And then the last step we have the propeller, propeller hub, and the canopy, and the antenna, pivot tube, and the lights, and the guns. So it's a really, looks like a really simple model. Not a lot to it. Here we have, hmm, you want to see the whole thing there. Here we have some painting instructions for a pilot, for the propeller. Um, here we have basic painting and Well, it says basic painting, but there's also these stripes that show in there. But then we have one, two, four versions to build. This is from from the Karai unit of the 502nd Temporary Interception Corps. Launched in May 1945, Nakatsu Airfield. This is from the 104th Air Group, 1945. In Sean Airfield in South Manchuria, 58th Shimbu Unit of the Special Attack Corps, Miyakano Miyakanoyo Airfield in Miyazaki Prefecture, Okinawa. This is from the Second Squadron of the 11th Air Fleet, 1944 Philippines. This version is silver. I might do that because I don't have any Japanese aircraft that are like bare metal color. This also came with the uh, color paint chart. We have one time in green and gray and then this one's in silver. It's in also Japanese so you can't read it. It's a nice looking airplane too. So here's the detail sheet. You see there's three different types of roundels. We have one without the white circle, one with the white circle, and one with the white brown ground. This is pretty cool. School and cost bones for this one. And the uh, the decal for the instrument panel looks nice too. And we have some stripes here as well. And a couple of numbers we to choose from. Take a little look here. The colors look nice and, and looks like the register is nice too. These decals are usually pretty good from Tamaya. So here we have sprue A. Um, look at the pilots. For a kit that is so old, I think these pilots look really good. You got one standing and one sitting too. Um, the bottom of the cockpit, eh. you have your pedals there, a place for a stick, and the control column there. 
but there's not really a lot more. The landing gear looks okay. But look, even in 1972, Hasegawa was put in detail on the inside. I see modern kits that have less than that. Um, so, there's a pin mark in the seat. No seat belts, and the seat's not very detailed either. So here we have sprue B. We have our fuel tanks, a propeller, the, the uh, motor hub here. Here's the top part where the guns are. Our horizontal stabilizers, our engine. So we do have detail on the inside on this side too. It's not all that great, but it's something at least. More than I've seen on some other kits. The exterior looks pretty good though. And it has engraved panel lines too. Um, I don't like the motor. The motor is not very, very good. Um, I don't like the guns. They don't look very good. Here's the last screws here. That is our wings. Also in gray panel lines. I think the flaps look okay. They look okay. Mm. In the bottom of the wing, you see they actually they put detail on the inside of the. And you see here on on the bottom of the wing, they put detail on the inside of the landing gear bay as well. I don't see ejection ports for the guns though. There should be ejection ports somewhere. Or is that ejection port? It looks like there might be one ejection port. What's on the other side? Because there's guns on both sides. It's kind of weird. Okay. So it's an easy, simple kit, you can see. It has very few parts. Um, the details okay being as old as it is it's 50 years old 52 years old since 1972 is a copyright on the instructions at least I don't know when this one was boxed though it's also 1972 on the box and this is made in Philippines it says but considering its age I'm kind of surprised it has some of the detail it has on it I would though recommend um, a better engine, P set for the interior, maybe a pilot seat as well, from resin. I think with those parts, it would be a really nice. If it just had more detail on the cockpit, and the engine looked a little better. The engine is really spare, spare on, on detail. But if you put, if you get a resin engine, you might have to change it a little bit to get it to fit in there because this one's really thin. But I'll take a look around and see what I find. So what do I have to say about this kit? I think it's okay. Being as old as it is, I have the other one also from the KI-43. has the molding failure on the bottom. And I don't mind building stuff like this. It's, it's something easy to, you know, Every, not everything has to be complicated in a struggle because it's supposed to be fun too. And uh, having a kit like this, you know, that's just, just something simple to do in between the other ones. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and join me next time when we'll take a look at this Nakajima J1N1 SA Night Fighter Gecko Type 11. Cal Irving. <laughs> That's a long name. This is a 148 scale from Tamaya, and I really think it'll turn out good. I don't have any big aircraft from Japan yet. Um, so, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.